what is your overall assessment of, of how you guys performed today? Where did you see growth, and why was it still ultimately not enough? Uh, I mean, we beat ourselves a little bit tonight uh, just on our turnovers and uh, just some of our defensive rotations. They got a lot of uh, an opportunity, second chance opportunities where uh, they got an uh, opportunity to go into fast break and um, just create uh, just mismatches in transition. Uh, so you know, look at some of the positives for sure where uh, we won the first and fourth. But at the end of the day, we got to win all four quarters uh, if we want a great chance against this team. And uh, we got to make sure that we create enough separation where uh, we can play comfortably too and freely. Um, you know, so we, we had a good uh, pulse about the game, I believe, going up until halftime. And then afterwards, um, you know, they did what other great teams do, um, you know, where they put their foot on the gas pedal, started pushing a little bit, a little bit more, um, penetrating down the lane a little bit more and creating some opportunities at the free throw line. So and they converted them tonight, 19 for 20. Uh, so you got to give them credit. They definitely picked up their defensive pressure. Um, but I feel like we got some great looks as well. So uh, it's definitely a great test for us. Uh, they did what they had to do. They won both games at home. Now it's our job to go home and win both games at home. Front row, Valencia. Valencia King, Real Talk Sports out of Dallas. Thank you for your time, Kyrie. Home court advantage is something that gets talked about a lot, especially from a media standpoint. As a player, is that something that you guys can lean into as the series shifts back to Dallas? Yeah, I mean, you want to take advantage of playing in front of your home crowd, uh, feeling a confident um, feeling confident and uh, being able to play in a familiar place. And like I said, uh, they handled what they were supposed to do first two games. And now it's our job to go home and handle our business. Um, but you got to give them credit. They kept competing. We kept competing. Uh, we just got to stay together in, in some of the tough times throughout the game um, where it you know, could be a four point lead on them or a four point lead that we have. Uh, we just got to keep competing. And uh, I think we'll be in a better place, but feel good. Second row on the left. Chris Gasper, Boston Globe. Uh, Kyrie, it looked like you were in a good flow uh, first half, you know, five of 10. Second half, two of eight. Did they change anything in terms of the way they defended you? And also through the two games, you got some really good looks from three. Do you feel like it's only a matter of time before those go down? Yeah, that's, that's the confidence that I have in myself. Um, you know, a lot of shots were hitting the back rim uh, that could piss you off as a competitor. Um, but it's all part of the game of basketball, and you got to accept the ups and downs of this. Um, you know, that's that, that's the uh, I would say the toughest challenge when you're in a series. You want to play extremely well, especially when you're playing in the finals. Um, you know, a little disappointed uh, in myself not being able to convert a lot more of my opportunities that I have in the lane. Um, you know, obviously I'm going against Drew Holiday and Jalen Brown um, a, a few times, but I, I feel like I have the upper edge on certain possessions where I just got to convert. Um, they're pushing me to my left hand a little bit more. So I just got to be aware of some of their adjustments like I was in game one. Um, felt good in the first half, but in the second half, uh, just the shots weren't going down. And defensively, I was out of position, got some ticky-tack fouls, and um, just kind of took away from our flow of the game as well. Um, it wasn't just all on me, but I'm definitely taking the majority of it just because um, you know my teammates look to me to convert a lot of these shots and uh, ease the burden, not only just Luca but everyone else. And, and settle our team. Um, you know, we've definitely made our identity on defensive end, but now offensively, I got to play better. First row, Tim. Tim McMahon, ESPN. Uh, when Luke was in here, he pointed at his turnovers and his missed free throws. He said, the, you know, those are the, the reasons you guys lost the game. Just curious your reaction to, uh, you know, Luca taking the blame and specifically saying those two things. Yeah, I think we talked about this last series. Um, you know, he did something similar, but when you're in the finals and, and you're taking a brunt of accountability, he, he definitely, um, you know, he's, he's, he's in the right for wanting to um, single himself out, but this is a team game. Uh, he's not alone, and we're going to tell him that. Um, but, you know, you, as expected, he's fresh off the court. He's uh, spilling into these emotions. He, he feels like he could have played better, just like me. Um, I would take a brunt of that responsibility. The first two games weren't uh, the best for me, especially him scoring, you know, 25 plus points, getting uh, rebounds, getting assists, doing the intangibles. And, um, you know, for me, I've always felt responsible for getting other guys comfortable out there, too. So, um, you know, it's on all of us, man. It, it, I'm pretty sure if you hear um, what everybody has to say, they'll say that they can do something better. Um, but I, I think the message right now is just uh, get our bearings together. Uh, we lost by seven points. Um, we don't want to take the total or the um, the total number, um, you know, back home and say we're proud of that. Not not we don't want to do that. We want to go home and be prepared to to win games. And in order to do that, we got to be ready to defend this this good uh, Boston Celtics team, man. Second row on the right. 
Michael Pina, The Ringer. Uh, Kyrie, how important is it for you guys to attack and transition a little bit more and avoid half-court offense? Your output with fast break points in games one and two were the lowest so far of the postseason for you guys. Yeah, it's just adjusting to the pace. Um, you know, they're, they're playing a great style of basketball, a great brand of basketball where they're pushing in transition. Uh, sometimes those opportunities don't come as often or as easy. Uh, they have guys back loaded. Um, they have a lot of guys that are athletic that are running back in transition. You saw when PJ had an opportunity to cut it to five. Um, you know, you saw Derek White, you know, contest him at the rim. You saw Derek White over there again, contesting against D. Lively. Even though he got dunked on, he still came over there and contested, and that's what they've been doing. They uh, have a lot of pride on that end, and uh, they're not going to make it easy on us. So in, in the fast break component, we definitely can create more opportunities for ourselves when we're in Dallas and look forward to doing that. Second row, Vinny. Kyrie Vince Goodwill, Yahoo Sports. And, and towards the end of the third quarter, you cut the lead to six. Peyton Pritchard hits that half-court buzzer beater and then the Luka play where Drew jumps in the passing lane they get the steal they get a three out of it does it feel like you're close and those plays those moments just sort of tilt the scales just that much more away from you guys yeah I just chalked that up to just being in Boston man uh you know some of those shots some you know, they go up in the air and I remember um you know last game Sam Hauser caught it in the corner and I don't even think he brought the ball down and um, it was you know, practically all net. So they, they feel very confident here. They, they've been a great team all year. Just look at their record. I don't know how many total games they've lost um, you know, since the postseason uh, started, but I, I don't think it's more than six or seven. Um, so they've, they've really made their identity here. They want to take care of home court. Um, and now it's our job to go home and do the same. Um, you know, being in the finals before, down 0-2, uh, I have a little experience in this. Um, you know, didn't play particularly well in the first two games in that series two that I'm referring to. Um, so now I'm just really leaning in on of what I've experienced, what I've learned, and uh, some of the lessons I've been able to make sense of um, in how to come back in this series because it's, it is going to be a possession by possession thing, um, and it is going to be the hardest thing that we've ever done. Um, so I, I think we got a great feel, a great experience here in Boston, what the finals is like for our group. Um, and now we go home, uh, kind of shake off the cobwebs a little bit and just be prepared for another fight. Thanks, Curry. Yes, sir.